Well, Jim, Jim's been on the road. There's a kind of an, an uh, since we last saw him, he's been, you know, there's a, an echo in season one that there was a, a kind of something between him and his wife that at one point they wanted to travel and get out there. And I think he, he decides that it would be good for him after everything that's happened to get away from the centre of it all and go out on the road. But I think there's only so much of that that sustains him and he comes back. So he comes back and my feeling is, and the feeling is that he hasn't been hugely in contact with everyone because he comes back into a scenario that's kind of been bubbling away for some time and he has to get up to speed very quickly about it. And even then, he never really is in possession of all the facts. So it's once again, it's a blood type scenario whereby there's secrets happening, you know, all over the place and only certain people know exactly what's going on. He's completely lost, uh, you know, he's lost his status. He's, he's arrived back, he, he's living ostensibly on charity, which really irks him. He's, he would love to get a job, but he's finding that difficult because of it, the background, uh, you know, once they do the background checks and everything. It's, uh, it's, a very, it's very difficult for him. So yes, he finds himself coming back into a very difficult scenario. All right, Jim. Oh, Paul. How was your flight? Yeah, good, thanks. Good, yeah. How are you keeping well? Ah, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, good. Paul's been uh, digging a slurry pit in the farm, so he's exhausted. Yeah, well, you know me, well used to shoveling. <laughs> <laughs> I think just somewhere in Jim, he really wants that relationship to work. You know, he wants to have a son in law who's kind and responsible and looks after his daughter. And there's, there's two children involved as well, of course, you know, and children need their father, and he's aware of all these things, not least the fact that he's come back to see his own daughter, who he knows isn't well. I think Jim's desperately keen to make the family dynamic work. And I think there's a lot of us who understand when, you know, who are finding ourselves in difficult situations because we're desperately trying to make the family dynamic work. But because we're not in possession of all the facts, we may be doing the right thing for the wrong reasons or the wrong thing for the right reasons. Hey, lads, mind the car, it's, you know. It's only a hire. You're the one who killed his wife. I recognize you. Do you know? I think it's important when you're moving to a second series to develop the characters and develop them in depth and, you know, emotionally give them deeper and darker places to go. It's important, I think, for characters to develop. And I think it, it, circumstance changes people. It just does, you know. Things happen to you, you change as a person, things change you. And I think that's happening with everybody in it. And uh, although some people are hanging on to stuff from the past, other people seem to be moving on. I think that's important.